guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm gonna to be doing a routine of mine called Through the Looking Glass, which is my version of a classic Paul Harris trick using a mirror and a coin. Now, uh, the, the routine in question involves sitting down at a table, there was a lot of, uh, uh, it was very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, environment specific. There were very few places you could perform it outside of a formal close-up shot. Uh, this is my handling, it's designed to be done uh, literally anytime, anywhere. It's designed as a strolling piece, uh, so you can do it mix and mingle, you don't need a table. Um, and all you need is a little mirror and a little uh, uh, sort of um, case. You don't even need the case, but the case keeps it nice and safe. And uh, this is getting uploaded onto the Netflix on Monday, so I'm gonna go through this. This has been like one of my thousand timers for years, never published it. I'm putting it up onto the Netflix on Monday. And um, I go through exactly what mirror that you need and everything and so on and so forth, but this is super commercial. I'm going to show it to you, Jack. So um, what we have here is we have a little uh, case. Now there's a couple of things in there. The case isn't important. What's important is this and this. Now, first of all, have a look at the coin. That's an American half dollar. It's actually a walking liberty. It's got an eagle on one side, Statue of Liberty on the other. Nice. And as well as that, you've got this. You can have a look at this. This is a mirror. Um, it's by the Anthony Noble & Co Company. You can check it out, make sure it's okay. Uh, it's just a little mirror, just a little yeah. pocket mirror. Mark, can you see yourself? Hello. <laughs> 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 have you ever seen, have you, have you ever heard of the expression smoke and mirrors? Like it's all done with smoke. A lot of people think that magic is done with mirrors, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in actual fact, that's correct, it is. Especially when you see coin magic, but not in the way you think. It's not like there's a secret mirror. But if you're a magician and you have one of these little mirrors, you can actually make coins appear by using the reflective surface of the mirror, which sounds ridiculous, but let me show you. If I hold that there, can you see that, Michael? Yeah. Michael's behind the camera right now. Now, if I take one coin and I put the coin there, Michael, how many does it look like I've got? Two. It looks like I've got two because you see the reflection in the mirror, right? Yeah. Now, the thing with this mirror is whatever happens in the reflection happens in reality. So because you see two, when I take the mirror away, there are actually two coins, <laughs> you see. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can have a look at those. Now it works every single time. All you have to do, if you want to make a coin, you just take one of the coins, you put it there. At the moment, you don't see any coins, right, Michael? But if I put that one there, you see two, right? Yeah. And because you see two, you just wait a second and you actually get two. You see, that's how this whole concept works. It's kind of weird. Yeah, look, we'll do it one more time. Watch. Nothing in the hand, just a coin and a mirror. Now, if I put the mirror here and I put the coin behind the mirror. You don't see anything in the mirror, do you, Michael? No. But if I take the coin and I put it in front, how many do you see? Two. Exactly. That's how this whole concept works, you see. Now, it also works in reverse, which is kind of weird, but let me explain. So you see two coins, right? Now, if I put this one behind, we know there's two coins behind the mirror, because you saw me put two coins behind the mirror, but you don't see any. Now, if I put two coins in front, how many coins do you see altogether, Michael? Four. You see four coins. But if I take one away, how do you see? Two. You see two. So because you see two in the mirror, that means we're left with only two. That's how the concept of this whole crazy thing works, you see. It's weird to really think about it, but it, that's how it works. Let me do it again. Watch. If I take the mirror and I put the mirror here, and again I put the coin behind, we know there's two coins behind, right, Michael? Yeah. And if I put this coin here, how many do you see? Two. Exactly. So that's why there's only two. <laughs> you see, whatever happens in the mirror happens in real life. So let's let's do it again. Michael, it's fairly easy to follow. Watch. If I put the mirror here, now we know there's two coins, right? You can see there's two coins. Let me just move them a little bit further forward. You know there's two coins. If I put the mirror here, how many coins do you see? Two. Very good. And if I say, for example, put one behind, how many do you see? None. None. But if I put that one back in front, how many do you see? Two. Two. If I take this one away, how many now? None. Exactly. Are we following this? Is this making any sense at all to absolutely anybody? Oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> the last one's the hardest one, so let me see if I can do the last one. Watch the last one. Um, watch the coin. Watch the mirror. All I have to do is just get the surface in the right place. And even though we started with one coin, we can throw it right there into the mirror and we end up with absolutely nothing. But that coin is still in the mirror. Do you see it there, Jack? No. You probably don't see it, but uh, it's there. You just... There you go, it can pop out if you want it to, but I do want to keep it in the mirror, so I'm going to pop it back in there, and that's the trick with the mirror. You can examine it, and um, what that's, how shit is this? that's how magicians make coins appear and disappear. There you go, Jack. 
Uh, so that's it. It's called Through the Looking Glass. It's one of my favorite mix and mingle pieces. It's also really easy to do. Um, it's on the up later, getting uploaded to the Netflix as of Monday. Let me know what you think. Now, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again on Monday. Don't forget www.thenetrix.com. That's where you get it. You can get access to this whole thing. It's my thousand timer. I'll be back again soon. See you again. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Thank mm -hmm. you.